Good morning, Soul Fam. Welcome to Messages from the Angels. Wow. People have been contacting me the last couple days asking if they're crazy. Energies have been just really weird. Remember, I think it was last month in one of these live broadcasts, the angels were warning us about a lot of different things to come and asking us to prepare and get ready. Well, this card this morning, which of course I'll post after uh, with the explanation, really grabbed me. It is from Mystical Shaman Oracle, Thunder. And I don't normally read it, but sometimes I do a little bit, and this one is important. Legends speak of great thunder beings who live in the sky and call for your attention when great occurrences are meant to happen in the world. Oh gosh, that gives me shivers. You too? They warn when tension in a situation is called upon to be released. Their presence in your reading reminds you of the dramatic moments in life that change everything both awesome and frightening when thunder arrives. It's also a wake-up call that you will not soon forget. Okay, the rest of it I will post with the picture of the card when we're done today. But the angels, I had a whole extra crew this morning come with me, and they're all here with us. So we must have some amazing messages to help us through the next few weeks of what feels quite fascinating as we release all that we've learned gone through healed and done in 2019 so let the questions begin good morning barbara andre angie i hope that you're all doing really really well uh barbara everything's moving quite nicely the sales going to happen uh, and, and everything falling into place. Woohoo! You go, girl. That's really, really cool. Don't you love how the universe works? When you just set your intention with positivity and you make it happen. So that's cool. Yeah, wow. Are you feeling it too, Andre? Uh-huh. Yes. Hey, Angie. It was so great to see you the other night. Gonna miss uproar, but hey... Your life's got some interesting shifts coming to, and I see them as positive. The angels want you to know you're protected, and the health concerns for those involved are working themselves out. Um, and that's a really cool thing. Good morning, Cher. Nice to see you. Oh, yeah. Andre's feeling this, too. I'm, I'm sure most of you are. Uh, like I said, I had a couple of messages yesterday. I'm going crazy. I'm going crazy. This energy, it's coming from all levels, not just out in the global world right now, but it's coming from higher realms. Those of you who believe um, in the other dimensions and that there are forces, life forces and beings, they're making themselves known. And that's a good thing because I feel... And when I work with the angels and everyone, that we need help. Yeah. Oh, Barbara, don't let it be scary. You got it, you got it, you got it. And you know, you know your girl is there with you the whole step of the way. Good morning, Leslie. Good morning, Sarah. Leslie, it's so nice to see you. Do you have any questions? Just slurp them on out there. Sarah, you're going to have a really interesting week. Two surprises. Don't know, obviously, what they are, but the angel said two surprises, both of them good this week. Uh, one of them is regarding one daughter, and the other one is regarding your service work in the world, okay? So be open to that. Um, Bonnie, good morning. Hi. Hope everything is going well with you. Leslie, um, 2020 is going to catapult you into a little different aspect of the service work that you're doing. They're showing me a new 
training um, that you're creating or going to be creating as an adjunct to what you're doing. They're also asking you to get out into nature just a little bit more and honor yourself, find yourself centered and at peace. So yeah, that, that sounds like a really good plan. I know a lot of us are not doing that, myself included, and I'm, I'm feeling the draw too. So go ahead and get out in nature. <laughs> oh, thanks, Bonnie. So I don't feel like sunshine this morning. I f I'm feeling these energies really weird. In fact, you can probably hear it in my voice. I have some vinegar water and coffee next to me just in case the voice starts to give out today because it did yesterday. Yesterday was a very low-key, not moving much day. So, uh, also, hey, I got something exciting coming up. I'll be posting soon, starting the last Thursday in December. I have a new series called Metamorphosis, and we're going to be doing that at P3, where I have my beautiful healing space. Details will come, and I hope that all of you who are drawn will join, because it's calling Soul Family. As we go through these changes to work together and help each other, and I loved that they gave me the term metamorphosis, because that feels to me like what we're going through, as well as everyone that I'm mentoring and helping right now. They're going through major metamorphoses, and they are aware of it. So, very cool. Welcome, Noreen. Hello, Kristen. Much love. How are you? Okay, come on, peeps. Questions, questions. <laughs> Oh, does he? Oh, I hope he's okay. I've been lots of vinegar water with lemon in it. Warm. That seems to help me to clear out the sinuses and be able to breathe. So that works for me. I can't do whiskey, you know. I mean, I'd like to, but that's the main thing they say is whiskey or bourbon and lemon water. It'd be kind of hard to function. <laughs> Noreen. There's a male with dark hair sitting next to you on your right hand side right now he is telling you everything is okay and um, to open your heart once again he says you understand what that means the reason he's on the right side is because as most of you know energy comes in on our left side we use what we need yin and yang all the the different ways of saying that and then the energy goes out on the right so he is trying to help you to release whatever this is that you're holding on to so that you can open your heart again so much love and blessings from him Kristen your health hi Brenda um you're wearing yourself down a little bit too much. You're right. Uh, there's something in your body that you need to listen to to get the right nutrients in there. I'm hearing nutrition. Um, sometimes you get so busy with your family and everything else, you forget to listen to you. And I'm seeing that your adrenal glands are a little bit tired. So, um, take a peek at some natural supplements and some nutrition. And if you need to know how to muscle test your body for those things, I'm happy to teach that. That's not a problem. There's a lot of ways to do that. So, take care of yourself. Ah, you're feeling it too, Leslie. Yeah, it's shifting faster than we can keep up with it, me thinks. You're welcome, Noreen. I hope that that message helps you. Excuse me, need a little sip of coffee. I feel the voice wavering. <clears throat> there we go, for a minute anyway. Good morning, Linda. Okay, Brenda, what's the question this week and how did everything go? Uh, of course, I'm curious, you know, and I appreciate all of you that give me the feedback of your messages because. It just comes through out of my mouth and again 
I don't even know sometimes. I, I have no idea what it means to you or for you. And it's really cool for me to have that. So thank, thank, thank you. All right. Who else wants to receive? Hmm. Linda, changes for you too, of course, for all of us. Uh, changes for your daughter. Um, Sarah Lynn is going to start soaring at something new in 2020. And you'll be getting to go down and visit her again. Woohoo! That looks fun. I see the two of you laughing and smiling. So, way, way cool. Yeah. Hello, John. Hello, Christopher. Um, Leslie, yes. Uh, the increase in pain and symptoms is part of the release. It's really interesting. And you can tell, uh, again, energy in on the left, what we need, and out on the right. So if you're having pains and issues on the left, you're resisting the changes. You're resisting that energy coming in. If you're feeling it on the right, you're resisting letting go of it. And if you get a little bit quiet, you can see and feel what that is. And if you learn to get in tune with your body, your body's going to tell you um, what's going on. And I know my voice, what this is for me, the respiratory is heart, um, self-love, and... Um, speaking out in the world sometimes it's difficult for me being raised in the 50s where all this was woo woo to speak out especially when I'm talking to beings from the other realms and you know that doesn't bother me much anymore but I'm feeling like I'm being propelled to go deeper so that's probably what yeah that's what the voice says is I'm fighting it just a little bit but that's okay. Y'all know I'm a little odd, so you're not going to be surprised at what I say. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, let me keep up with things here. Do, 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 do. Hello, Kathy. Hello, Grant. Oh, we have two family members on here today. That's really cool. Hello, Jill. Jill. I don't know what this means, but I see a new fur baby coming in and adopting you in March of 2020 to help you with a new project. Don't know exactly what that means, but apparently this one is going to give you some great inspiration. So when that fur baby shows up, however she, I'm getting female energy, Native American, um, and ancient energy, then adopt her. She'll be cool. Hi, Sarah. How are you? Been a while. We have another Sarah on here. Lots of great people this morning. How's Canada, Grant? My Grant is my slacker friend, as he calls himself. So it's always nice to have you around. And um, welcome. So, uh, John, you don't have much of a message this week. You've had quite a few. However... This is an interesting being. Um, this being is in a different form, not just the angel, angelic form. It comes with um, Lord Maitreya. And Lord Maitreya says, thank you. Keep listening. Your inner voice is growing louder. Don't ignore it. Wow, you must have something that's going on pretty cool. I'll look forward to hearing about that. <laughs> okay. Oh, you're welcome, Linda. It looks like a fun trip. Kathy, you're moving things right along. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, you do have a question, I feel, though. That's, that's what Archangel Michael's saying. So feel free to ask it. Uh, we're not going to just deliver an answer because... Sometimes there's a lot going on with each one of us, and it involves family members, friends, things like that. So 
wanting to answer your specific question is really a good thing. Even though, you know, it's really funny, I've been doing a lot of uh, Akashic Record readings and it, it, it cracks me up because I have people record it since I'm not really there with you, I'm channeling. And uh, people will get to the point where the Lords of Karma ask them if they have any questions and they'll go, well, you answered them all before I could voice them. So... I don't know how that works, but it just really does. For those of you that don't know what the Akashic Records are, we all have souls, right? Our souls, if you believe in reincarnation, have a journey. And that journey isn't just the here and the now. We don't just leave the physical vessel and um, that's it. And we have memories of different lives. So the Akashic Records are our soul's records. I visualize it as this big, beautiful, like library, white library in the universe and the Milky Way, the galaxies. And the Lords of Karma are the ones that facilitate it. So they're private for each person. And it's pretty amazing to find out what our soul's journey has been and is and it helps us to know some of those lifetimes so we can understand what we're working on in this one. Makes the, the trek a lot easier. So that's pretty darn cool. Okay, let me keep up with everybody. Hi, Fran. Oh, um, the name is a new guide in your dream. Yes. And the letters are from ancient Hebrew. I, I don't know where that's coming from, uh, but uh, wow, that's pretty cool. If you can write them or figure out kind of how to portray that, I can ask the angels a little bit more information for you. So we can do that. Okay. Oh, you're welcome, Leslie. I hope that that helped you. Hi, Anne. Nice to be with you. Welcome. Welcome, David Wayne. Welcome, Tammy. Um, yes, Brenda, you will, but it's not again. What the angels want you to know is that the love that is going to come in looks like in 2021. It's what they're showing me early by early 2021 is a love you've not experienced. It's an actual total soul love, but a little bit different. So, um, that looks really exciting. So just, just know it's coming and continue to grow and open your own heart and love yourself as best as you can so that that love can come in. Okay. Many blessings and much love. You're welcome, Fran. Uh, let's see. Okay. I'm scrolling back to see if I've missed anything. Christopher. Yours is from your grandfather on your mother's side who says, and this is cute state, and he says, will you get your butt in gear and quit futzing around? He says, you know what that means. He was a no-nonsense kind of guy, apparently. I don't know if you knew him, but uh, he's got a great sense of humor, and he wants you to know that he played washboards. You know, kind of like what you wear when you're doing your harmonicas, what he's showing me. He used to entertain people by playing the washboards. So hopefully that helps for you. Okay. Um, oh, Tammy, that's way too involved of a question, the angels say, for just this, this program. That would require a reading. Let's just say, okay, here's what they're showing me, that... What you are doing now, you're going deeper inside, staying, doing what you love, despite what everyone is telling you, is going to propel you to that purpose. You already have been living a lot of your purpose anyway. The goats, your daughter, um, so much in your life that has been challenging, but yet rewarding. Uh, your physicality is going to be a little challenging for the next three months, but then things are going to improve and get 
better. So I hope that part of it helps. And like I said, it's way too in-depth to get into all of that. Okay, so you know where to find me. Good morning, Barbara. Nice to see you on here. Uh, hello, Galen. Nice to see you, Sue. Sarah, well, we got lots of people. Um, let's see here. Let's go back up. I saw a question. Okay, Barbara. August 2020. You're moving again. <laughs> oh, my. I don't, I don't recall, but I kind of think you moved in the last couple of years. But this one, uh, they're showing me you're moving into your ley lines which means you're going to be drawn to an area where your soul has been before, where you thrive physically, emotionally, and spiritually. And it's going to kind of come rapidly. So just know that that's what's supposed to be happening. <laughs> you can fight it or you can just get on with the flow like a lot of us are finding we probably should do. <laughs> okay, best wishes with that. Sarah Gillum, any messages for you? Okay. Um, grandfather. Grandfather wishes to say, keep following your heart. You are almost in alignment with your purpose. He wishes you love and blessings and asks you to uh, get your favorite crystal out, program it, and set the intention that it will guide you to where you need to be. Hope that helps. And I see a crystal. I think you know which one it is. So very, very, very cool. You are welcome, Tammy. Um, I would love to come back over to your area. I have not been there in quite a while, and I miss everyone over there. We're, we're talking about, um, yeah, of course, I'm not going to remember the name, right? We're talking about the greater Lewiston, uh, Moscow, Idaho area, where I haven't been in a few years. And the angels are taking me back out on the road. I'm going to be doing messages from the angels all over the place. So I'm really excited for that. Nothing makes me happier than to do this for you. It fulfills everything in my life. Hello, Gary. Nice to see you here. Um, Kristen. Hello, Kristen Wolf. Um, all I'm getting for you today is a big smile. The smile is from your grandmother on your mother's side and she's just saying thank you she says you know what that means so very brief message but it's I don't know if you can see the energy shift around me sometimes when I deliver a message that's full of love like that um, my energy field turns kind of more white or you can see the white auric field around me so that's really cool, Kristen. You have a great day. Oh, you're welcome, Sarah. You are more than welcome, Sarah. Sarah Gillum. I know we've got a couple of Sarahs on here. And Okay, I need the vinegar water just a sec. <clears throat> I don't want to cough all over you guys. Oh, Christopher, I'm so glad that does help. Like I said, I, I don't know what they mean. I just deliver them. So, how are we doing? Any other questions? We've still got plenty of time. We're doing really good this morning. Uh, don't forget, gift certificates are available. And um, lots of different things. I'll start posting so that you know. Best gift that you can give yourself or somebody is the gift of self-love, self-acceptance, and clarity. And that's, that's my purposes to help everybody with that so that's very very cool um let's see do, 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 do. gary this is your first time on here and um i do have a message february 2020 three choices for forward movement 
in your career and your passion are going to come to you. Don't think about the choices like you normally would. Envision the choices. Feel them in your heart and choose the one that your heart and gut keep going back to because you'll really start to soar and um, during that time ask your body what you need to do to take better care of it. I think we're all going to be asked that. We're all being guided to a healthier, lighter um, way of nutrition because all these changes in energies that are coming and be sure and read the whole thing with the card that I post after the reading. You'll get it. But we need to not weigh our bodies down with the foods that we have in the past. So we need to really pay attention to what our bodies are asking for, to feel better and to be healthier, okay, and to be our optimal selves. So take that in mind. And best wishes, Gary, because I see you by summer of 2020 happy, lots of smiles, um, and enjoying what you're doing. Hello, Julie Kramer. Really nice. Hello, Shelby. Um... Julie, have, you've never asked for a message, but we've talked before. You have two changes coming in 2020. One change is going to cause your heart to be a little bit unhappy, but you're being well protected by your guides, your angels, and all of your friends. You've got a huge friend base. The other one is going to be a significant positive change. And it's a positive change in how you're feeling, they say. Your, your, your body, your, um, uh, they say you are losing a little bit of enjoyment of the mobility and your dancing and things. That's coming back. So 2020 is going to be a very good year, even though it's going to have some interesting challenges for you particularly. Okay. Let's see. Ah. Hi, Johnny. Hi, Jan. February 2020, Kathy. Are you, you keep getting February 2020 also? I still see a major change. They're saying moving. Um, new area, new people in your life. This is your time. And it's very interesting because they're also telling me the word legacy. And I get that one because at this stage of my life, I'm creating a legacy for my family. And, um, you know, that almost brings me to tears because to me it's a positive thing and I have no clue what that is or what that means exactly. I do know that messages from the angels is a huge part of it and finally got the book back out to finish writing it. Uh, it's called Unlock Your Inner Radiance, A Journey to Self-Acceptance. So um, that's probably a big part of my legacy too. So Kathy, we got this going on girlfriend. We both do. Hello, John Van Rees. Welcome. How are you? I hope everything is going well. Um, I actually see Metatron around you. You've been uh, grappling with some things in your life, both physically and emotionally, the last few months. And Metatron wants you to know to call him in more. Ask for help to release Ooh. Okay, this is kind of heavy. To release the emotional bondage you've carried far too long. He says you know what that is. And you don't need to do this on your own. The crystals can help you, but you need some uh, higher power assistance. And, of course, Metatron is pretty darn amazing. So, uh, call on him. And uh, help, have him help you through this, okay? Many blessings. How are we doing here? Uh, we've only got another minute or so. Do we have a last question anybody wants to answer?
Oh, thank you, Brenda. Thank you. It's funny because I started the book almost 10 years ago. I've got a whole list of people that want the book. But the last 18 months, I have lived the last chapters, which is really interesting. I had to wait to live it so I could finish writing it. Wow. Mm. Oh, did you, Kristen? Wow. Cool. Well, much love, all of you. You have an amazing week. Take heed of thunder. Look at the look at the post that I'll do right away and read it because we're in for some stuff that we aren't really aware of. And I know it's coming from other realms, too, like I'm talking about. So have a most blessed and amazing week. I love you all, Soul Family. See you next Sunday.